Mr Ang New, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Yes, of course, I would agree with uh, Mr McGuinness and Mr Nicholson, made some very good points. Um, my real worry when you have a, a deal with another trading bloc is about enforcement. It's all very well for the Argentinians and the Brazilians to say, yes, yes, we will make sure that our produce is produced according to your animal welfare standards, according to your food safety standards, and please come over to Argentina and Brazil and see one of our units. And, of course, a delegation of green, and I use that in both senses of the word, MEPs will go out to these countries and they'll be put up in a lovely hotel on the coast somewhere with a fantastic view over the South Atlantic and after they've been wined and dined well one night they'll be taken out to see this lovely show unit where everything is perfect and they'll come away grinning saying yes it's fine. Meanwhile the real work is being done three or four hundred miles inland with birds being kept eight to a cage not four to a cage with nobody checking the ammonia emissions coming out of a broiler unit and threatening to close it down because some moss isn't growing on a tree nearby. You cannot look at a packet of butter or a packet of dried egg powder or a beef carcass and say, yes, that was well treated, that wasn't. It's very, very difficult. We are being incredibly naive if we think we can actually secure agreement on standards. We will not be able to do it. And I'm in a dilemma because I wonder whether I should go over, go over there and have a look myself and insist on going inland. But these countries are so big, this is the problem, and we're just led by the nose to be shown what they want us to see. Thank you.